In this section, we are going to go through some uh, health check we perform when we get hired uh, during some uh, performance uh, tuning engagements. And uh, we have to have some structured methodology and some structured way to quickly find out the system issues possibility get to know the environment in few hours and also find out the bad sequels in few hours right the overall system behavior in few hours and uh, check out some logical and physical structures in few hours so just getting to know the new environment and then going through some basic structured steps for doing a health check so we can use bite armor for this uh, task activities very effectively because we have a special section here called health check and if you log in as a system user uh, you can see here we have categorized uh, health check into six major categories and if you expand that each category has various scripts as you can see so there are six categories and roughly they are close to 10 uh, scripts uh, on average under these categories right so I will uh, walk you through some basic uh, scripts here and see how I use it and I'll show you how you can use that uh, at your client setup as well so very first thing when I go and log in and use my bite armor tool at any client site uh, as you can see here we have uh, done physical database uh, uh, structure layout of my scripts and then we have uh, logical database structure layout of the scripts few scripts are also moved under health check right so let us go through a uh, step-by-step process which I will be using if I am hired to do the health check on the system. So I go to health check and I very first thing I want to see if you have the AWR there or not in 10G or if you have uh, stats back in 9i, right? So 9i is not supported right now legally. Uh, there may be some other clients which have some support agreement so majority of the clients are going to be on 10G and they should be on 10G at least and 10.2.0.3 or 10.2.0.4 version of uh, the database now I would like to see how much information can I go and uh, analyze using AWR snapshots and uh, so I'll go to my setup analysis and I can see here by clicking AWR setup I can see here at this client site uh, the retention period is 20 days so I can uh, I have a history of 20 days of AWR snapshots which are running every hour so they are doing hourly snapshots and they're maintaining data for 20 days so I know I can go back 20 days and run uh, other scripts in the tool to find out the bad SQL, top weights, per SQL, and all these things as we will walk through. So I got that idea. And I need to see if uh, we have enabled the snapshots. And I can check here just to confirm. So looks like the database was bounced. on 5-1 May 1st and uh, 2009 if I go back and see that was Friday so database has been running since uh, Friday and uh, we have snapshots coming down here from 5 5-1 So this is here begin interval and interval right so 
So they have bounced the database quite some, you know, quite number of times here, as you can see here. If you just sort by, to sort anything in Byte Armor Grid, just click on the uh, column name here, so we can sort by ascending, descending order. I was just trying to analyze. Okay, the the database was bounced on fifth month, which is May first, and then it bounced on four twenty three. Right, so and 217. So just get an idea, you know, how often they are bouncing the database. Begin interval tells you that we have taken snapshots on 5th of May, 4th of May. So it's going on hourly basis. Right, so any errors happening during the snapshot? So I don't see any errors happening here anywhere. So all right, so this gives me an idea that uh, snapshot is working fine, and I got the retention time and the snapshot interval. And then I can see by running AWR snap enable status what is the schedule, right? If you have 10G uh, scheduling information, these are the windows which we define first. And once the windows are defined, and uh, so our uh, AWR snapshots are falling under these two windows. They have been allocated to these uh, window schedules. And uh, so weekly and uh, weekday window they both are doing hourly snapshots right so I think uh, and uh, if you go back and check uh, let's double check that so Sunday uh, was the 3rd of May in this environment, so Five one, five two, five three, five four. So you can see here there should be around uh, twenty four snapshots per day. So five th five three is uh, Sunday. So let's count quickly. Nine. So this is the snapshot ID on the left side. Uh, three nine seven one, and the last one is. Three nine nine four. So there are around twenty three snapshots, twenty four snapshots. So this is how we interpret uh, the information I just uh, walked you through for AWR. So the good news is we can use AWR tables as long as client has the license, and we can run through uh, very uh, good scripts we have in the tool for you guys to very quickly analyze the situation which I use uh, at every client as well so and uh, so we'll do uh, hundreds of other senior consultants we have in the market space right now then uh, next thing I will uh, click on is uh, the database uh, overview seem like we have 17 uh, total uh, table spaces roughly 44 data files 6 temporary ta table space uh, data files we have 17 database users that include systems is, you know, and other internal uh, database users. Total tables 2600 roughly, 2700. Total indexes 3703 for this environment. If you notice one thing here on the left side, I don't see any extra tabs. If you have 
logged into the database which only is a normal non ERP database you will see only these five apps with the thousands of scripts but if you end up connecting a system 